Good day. My name is Gabriella Kiebel and I'm a candidate attorney at Schoolman Law. Today I am joined by my colleague Ricky Matebula and we will be discussing the CCMA processes. Good day. My name is Mukari Ricky Matebula, as Gabriella has already mentioned, and I am a candidate attorney at Schoolman Law Incorporated. I will be dealing with uh, CCMA cases that you can refer to the CCMA and that you cannot refer, and I'll also be dealing with CCMA procedures. CCMA cases that you can refer to the CCMA are dismissal cases, wages and conditions, uh, workplace changes, and also discrimination cases. Cases that you cannot refer to the CCMA are independent when independent contractor is involved, or cases that do not involve the Labor Relations Act or the Employment Equity Act or the Basic Conditions of Employment Act. Also, there are cases such as where there's a bargaining council that is involved, that's where we cannot refer the matter to the CCMA council. And lastly, where there's, a, there's an agreement that exists between uh, two parties in terms of resolving employment issues. What is the CCMA? How do you refer a matter to the CCMA? And why would you refer a matter to the CCMA? The CCMA is an independent body that attempts to resolve the disputes between employee and employer. You would refer any type of matter to the CCMA if it falls under one of the categories, which my colleague Ricky will discuss in more detail later, be it for unfair labour practice, unfair dismissals, or dismissals for misconduct where it relates to performance and incapacity. So when you have attempted to resolve the matter between the parties and it is clear that there is no resolution on the table, one would generally refer the matter to the CCMA by completing a form with um, the supporting documents that you will then serve on the other side and have that filed with the CCMA. It's important to make a note of the type of um, category that you'll be referring the matter to the CCMA on. For example, if it is an unfair dismissal, you need to file that within 30 days from the date of the dismissal or 90 days for an unfair labour practice. It is also important to note or to know the main processes that the CCMA offers, such as conciliation and arbitration and con arb, which is a combination between conciliation and arbitration. In terms of conciliation, the Commissioner meets up with both parties and explores ways to settle the dispute through an agreement. This is an informal process which both parties can represent themselves or can request that other parties represent them. Arbitration is a process where that is used when conciliation fails. The Commissioner gives both, both parties an opportunity to plead their case and then the commissioner will decide on the, on the facts of the case. The decision that is given is known as an arbitration award. Now, we can also use con arb, as I mentioned earlier, which is a combination of conciliation and arbitration. This is a one-stop shop and these processes take place on the same day. Um, this process is compulsory for dismissals relating to probations and any unfair labor practices relating to probation. If there is no objection to this process, it may be used for any dispute apart from dismissals relating to unprotected strikes. We can also understand that there are also ancillary, ancillary processes such as condonations and reviews. To conclude, it is evident that the CCMA is a helpful regulatory body that is there to resolve the disputes between the parties. It is important for you to seek legal guidance when referring the matter to the CCMA, not only because of the complex issues that may be raised, but to have an outside perspective that can show you the legalities and provide you with the correct advice to whether or not you will have a successful claim at the CCMA. It is also important if there are intrinsic issues that need to be discussed and need to be argued at the CCMA, that you have received the correct legal guidance in order to do so, alternatively, to have someone represent you. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that this video was useful. Please feel free to like, share and comment in the box below. 
feel free to raise any questions or to suggest future topics for our video series also by using the comments box below. Should you want to stay up to date with the latest legal developments, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information or for assistance, go to www.skumanlaw.co.za where you'll find a range of free blog posts and articles on various legal topics where you can subscribe to our free monthly newsletter and do not miss our next workshop or webinars that are upcoming on various legal topics.